inspired me to do the song is there's so many silly Christmas songs, which I love a lot of the silly ones, but I wanted something more uh, sincere and heartfelt, and I had this idea for a while of Gifts from the Heart, and that's where the original idea got sparked from Mark Woodson of Gifts from the Heart at Christmas time. But he came up with the, the basic, uh, that first initial melody, and I kind of like, I kind of ran from there. I said, that's it, right there. And, but the rest of it was really up to me, and it took, uh, I'd say, several months of just hammering out different versions, you know, listening to a lot of different Christmas songs. So that's like a cascading uh, chromatic type of chord progression uh, to make it a little more sophisticated. The message of the song really is to uh, spread goodwill during Christmas and be sincere, not be commercial. And because I think many people really need that. December can be a very difficult time for many of us. And to just get down to what's really important in terms of family and uh, community and helping each other and that type of thing for the song. In order to come up with the lyrics, I uh, really took my time on that. I love Christmas carols. We get a lot of Christmas gigs. December's crazy. So I came up with the dancing through the busy streets, smiles and hugs for all you meet, and all that kind of stuff. And then I did a little bit of the uh, religious side, but not too much. I didn't want it to be like a hymn. To get down to finishing the song uh, really took many hours, uh, because the poetry comes easy for me, okay? And then uh, to blend it with the melody, and that took a long process, and you know, rewrites and this kind of thing. So, but uh, I enjoy writing music, and I think it's uh, just, you know, just the process of writing the notes on the page. I'm not really a com computer guy, so I do it the old school way, and that took a lot of time to, to finish it, and a lot of discipline. Uh, because, you know, like Sting said, it's the original idea and it's all exciting, but then the hard work is finishing it. I wrote that out with all the bridge and then got all the charts because I usually work with guys that read music and, and, you know, a lot of talented musicians just use their ear, but uh, yeah, this was all written out. And so what I decided to do is to get three singers. We did a Spanish version and then a, a ballad. Uh, male ballad version, then an up-tempo uh, female version, so we did three versions of the song. Uh, that took a matter of a couple months, and then gathering the musicians, and each uh, version that we did, three different versions, is in a different key, so still to this day I have this big stack of, uh, uh, you know, scratch paper and whatnot, because and, and, there can be 12 keys to choose from. My long-term objective for the song is for as many artists as possible to record the song. And so far, you know, we have the, the three singers uh, that have done it on my recordings. And then I was fortunate enough for Westlake High School, my good friend Alan Rose, uh, who has a spectacular, actually award-winning program. Uh, they took the time to include it in one of their Christmas shows. They have a beautiful theater uh, in Westlake. And that's also on YouTube, uh, Westlake High School Choir Performing Gifts from the Heart. And then Dave Miles himself is a very fine tenor, and he recorded it last Christmas. So each season, I try to get new singers, and I also have the chart available. I, I write out professional uh, uh, published charts, and those will all be available. You can reach me at davidbardwatkins at gmail.com. I'll send you the chart for free. And so that's my goal, is to have many people as possible record the song. I wanted a more electric sound, so we had Mark Woodson on electric guitar, real fine, and then uh, I wanted the Kungas. We had Steve Tapp on Kungas, and of course my good friend Greg Stevens, who's a par excellence drummer, and then Doug Macbeth was on bass, 
uh, and playing uh, a jazz bass, Fender jazz bass, real nice sound. And then of course Chris Berry. Chris is a good friend of mine. I taught at his music store for many years. And he is a real Hammond organ player. We chose Luana Norman, who is a fine soprano uh, for the female version. And then John Ross Nelson was the baritone. And he's got a big, deep, rich Robert Goulet voice. And then the Spanish version was Milena Young. And she actually has a DJ business, and, but does a lot of singing, a lot of karaoke events. And she, uh, bless her heart, took a lot of time to translate. So it's professionally published and right now available for free. All you have to do is contact me if you're a choir director or wherever you may be and I will send you a copy.